device statistics and predictors of ICU patient outcomes during Hajj. This study was conducted by the Society of Hajj and Oman Medicine and the Critical Care Society. First of all, the Ministry of Health would spare no expense in providing quality health care for the pilgrims to ensure their safe return to their homes and the success of their pilgrims. They provide a total of 15 hospitals all over Mecca and the sacred places, as well as emergency ICU beds. The total ICU beds are 250 approximately, and the healthcare personnel about uh, over 2,000 doctors, 3,600 nurses, a lot of technicians, allied health personnel, and administrative personnel. This is the statistical data regarding Hajj provided by the MOH. Of course, we will be comparing the, that done in uh, 2007 with what we will see in this study. As for the total number of pilgrims in this year was 2.3 million, 1.6 were foreigners, and uh, about 700,000 were domestic. As for the study design, the ICU physicians and nurses filled out a data sheet that was prepared before, of course, and a database as well for the, each patient. These patients were actually followed up for five days and uh, uh, in seven hospitals for a duration of two weeks. Then this data was analyzed and uh, the extraction of tables commenced. Of course, our main aspect here was to actually calculate the Apache 4 score and the Apache 4 predicted mortality rate and predicted length of stay and compare that to the actual length of stay and predicted mortality for each patient. So that's how the data sheet was actually designed. This is a picture of the hospital where I was stationed in Hajj, Min al -Tawari. This is a picture of the data sheet. It's actually 10 pages. This is a, a glimpse of it. We also took uh, information regarding intubation uh, and other data. As for the admission by nationality, as you can see, 29% were Middle Eastern, and by Middle Eastern I mean Egyptian, Syrian, Jordanian, Lebanese. Of course, 13% were African, 19% uh, were Asian, uh, as in basically uh, Indonesian, Malaysian. Uh, Gulf countries represented 3%, Pakistanis were 19%, and their Westerns were 1%. As for the outcome by nationality, the mortality rate was highest in the Africans and Pakistani patients, as you can see in the graph. Uh, admission by gender, 67% uh, were male, and 33% uh, of this studies, uh, the patients surveyed in this study were females. The median age was 65 for females and 59 for males. Uh, this is basically done in 2007, 2008. I'm gonna compare the mortality rate in these two years with the one we had in this year. As you can see, it's 21% in those two years. And here you can see the mortality rate regarding medical status. Compared to 2009, the mortality rate is 5% of all of the patients surveyed. And these are the major causes of death. 40% were cause of cardiac arrest. 26% uh, were hypokalemia, 9% atrial arrhythmia, and 21 community acquired pneumonia. As for the patient chronic conditions prior to admission, of course, medical history is a very important acid for all physicians. Uh, as you can see, hypertension and diabetes were at large, as 25% of all the patients surveyed were hypertensive, about 23 were diabetic, of course, a lot of them had heart diseases, of course, the smoking was 6% of the patients were smokers, about 7% had asthma. As admitting diagnosis, due to the large number of illnesses and diseases, I actually divided them to major causes and minor causes. The major causes accounted for 80% of all admissions, while the minor causes were less than 20. As you can see, the majority were caused by acute MI, of course, 14% of community acquired pneumonia, 2% aspirational pneumonia, uh, hyperkalemia was 8%, and hypokalemia was by 5%. As for the minor causes, which accounted for less than 20% of all the patients surveyed in this study, uh, you can see there's a large selection of DKA, mexedema, lower GI bleeding, uh, diabetic foot, uh, a lot of other illnesses. As you can see, the top three admitting diagnoses basically were MI, pneumonia, and electrolyte deficiencies. 22% of all the patients surveyed uh, suffered from acute MI, 16% suffered from pneumonia, and 13% had electrolyte deficiencies and dehydration. Uh, as for ventilation procedures, uh, Basically, 22% of patients received assistive control ventilation, 33 received controlled ventilation, 17% had high frequency ventilation, and about 28 received non frequent ventilation. Procedures, a lot of patients received antibiotics, of course, polycatheters, IV lines, arterial encephalitis, lines, all the percentages are on the graph. As for the average Apache score per nationality, you can see that the highest Apache score was actually the Asians had an average of 
Apache score of 74, while uh, 72 was the average Apache score for Indians. The Westerns had an Apache score uh, average of 41, while the Middle Easterns had about uh, 57.5. The average Apache score per age, of course, the highest for which in group 5 from ages 66 to 75, and age 6, uh, group 6 from 77 to 85. I'm sorry for the numbers, but this is basically uh, around 70, and this here is about 55, the average Apache score per age. The average Apache uh, predicted mortality rate and length of stay outcomes. You can see here that the predicted mortality in the deceased patients was very high compared to that in the living patients. And so was the, uh, and so was the predicted uh, length of stay. And this is the average Apache per outcome. Of course, the average Apache for deceased patients was about over 90, while that for alive was about 60. The cause specific mortality rate for these uh, for cardiac diseases. The average Apache score for specific diagnosis, as in heart disease, uh, the average Apache score for cardiogenic shock was the highest in this study, of course, followed by that of anaphylaxis. Of, uh, also, uh, atrial ventricular block had also a very high average Apache. Uh, acute MI, because like Dr. Yester said before, they produced the calf, of course, had a low mortality rate. As for lung diseases, uh, uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome and aspiration pneumonia had about 70, while uh, asthmatic attack had about 40, community acquired pneumonia had 63, average Apache. The actual mortality rate for pulmonary cases were basically very high in aspirational pneumonia, as in 63% of aspirational pneumonia patients, and 25% uh, community acquired pneumonia, as COPD accelerations had 11% mortality rate. The average predicted uh, length of stay and predicted mortality rate for pulmonary diseases predicted mortality rates the high. This one here is uh, actually the aspiration only predicted mortality rate, very high, as you can see in the other graph, which is the actual mortality rate. And this is a good respiratory distress syndrome predicted mortality rate. This is also for uh, community acquired pneumonia, and this is for uh, COPD separation. The actual mortality rate for cardiac cases, uh, acute MI had the highest mortality rate, about 15% suffered from cardiogenic shock, and 9% anaphylaxis. This is the average uh, predicted mortality, average Apache predicted mortality rate, average predicted length of stay for cardiac, for cardiac diseases. The highest here was basically for atrial arrhythmia and, of course, anaphylaxis. The average Apache for per diagnosis concerning endocrine disease and electrolyte disturbances. In endocrine diseases, about 67 uh, was the average for DKA, 42 for hypoglycemia, and Mexidim had an average of 31. As for uh, electrolyte disturbances, the highest average Apache was for hyperkalemia, uh, followed by hypokalemia and hyponatremia. And this is a further graph about electrolyte deficiencies concerning predicted length of stay, actual mortality rate, and Apache score with disturbance. As you can see, the majority of patients here, uh, hyperkalemia accounted for 1% of the admission, while uh, hypokalemia accounted 6% and hyponatremia 10% of all admissions. And the actual mortality rate was 33% for hypokalemia. Sorry for the fault. So in summary, the median age of ICU patients surveyed in the study was 62 years. 50% of the study population were Egyptians and Asians. 22% of all ICU admissions were due to acute MI and 16% pneumonia, 13% electrolyte deficiency, and they suffered from dehydration. And therefore, MI was the commonest cause of ICU admission followed by pneumonia in Hajj in the year 2009. 41% of patients had previous cardiovascular conditions, 30% were diabetic, and 40% Thank you.